really important aspect of the project, having different architects for the different buildings. It would have been much easier to engage one architect to design a couple of different buildings. One of the first projects where we were able to work collaboratively with other people in a really meaningful way. So a lot of collaborative projects are really just, you have that corner, you have that corner, and never shall the two meet. But this took a lot more commitment, a lot more energy, and a lot more personal contribution, I think, to get the collaboration to work in a, in a pro productive way. The process of the art, you know, the other firms involved in, how did, how did that work? The conversations go together or what's that process? We worked from the very beginning of the project with the other architects and that was, you know, a kind of fantastic and horribly frightening um, opportunity because you really came, often the first ideas are not necessarily very good and we were really racing to, you know, um, get some things going. So we all presented together, we all commented on each other's work, became each other's cheer squad, you know, um, and, and then how it worked as well in terms of design, there were, it, the, the sort of fantastic thing about doing the projects together was that we were able to respond to what um, each other might be doing. So we could really respond quite directly to, um, you know, each other's buildings and move or shift. Working with the other architects was one of the best parts of the uh, process. And I think there was a bit of friendly competition really amongst the group. We, we were meeting weekly with the client involved at every meeting. And we didn't want to be the ones turning up with <laughs> nothing or less than others. Um, so yeah, I think the friendly competition was really interesting and exciting component. You know, working side by side, there's a reality that you all the buildings will be compared, you know, when they're finished. And so you certainly want to put your best foot forward and, um, you know, make a really positive contribution to the precinct. Um, we're working side by side with really great Australian architects. So you certainly want your project to hold its own in that context. It's a very unique opportunity to be designing a whole city block at once but we saw importance that there was a variety of design styles within that precinct so that it looks as though it could have happened um, kind of iteratively, not all at once. So together as a group of architects, we wanted to create one precinct, but with a diversity of architecture within it. And um, there was always this question uh, and this balance between what's going to unify us and what's going to make us distinct in our responses to our individual buildings. And brick was chosen really as the best product to be able to do that. It's incredibly diverse. There's so many different brick options available and they, they're naturally tied together through that material, but all very different, like a little family. There's also a history in that part of the city of brickwork buildings, which are the, the more private buildings. So there's some really great buildings around the site, which are brickwork buildings. And we wanted to think about uh, the fact that there, this was a civic place, but it wasn't a government building. It was there were private buildings. Mm. And could we take a materiality that we would all use, uh, invest some thinking in, uh, use it in different ways and in different colors, but that the fundamental building blocks of each one were kind of about this idea of a, uh, kind of elevating the private into kind of a public realms. So the idea of having a, a singular identity in a cohesive whole is most evident in the bricks. And you can see that the bricks are used everywhere. Like in some ways, the, the project, the buildings get held together by their materiality. I think they manage to be a cohesive whole, but have their own individual identities. Different bricks, different format, different stories, different responses. 
feel really proud. This is one of Sydney's latest iconic precincts and projects that Brickworks have been fortunate enough to be involved in. I think it's around giving architects the ability to create you know, unique bespoke architecture by using a single humble material. And I think that architects love the challenge of trying to create their identity using brick as a, as a material of choice. And I get excited by the fact that we've been able to incorporate brick in lots of beautiful pieces of architecture around Australia. They all have their own identity, but they, they may be clearly been built of this time, but I think that they're all sitting really beautifully together. I mean, I really have to congratulate all the people that we worked with because that, that you know, they're remarkable. They're a remarkable set of buildings, I think. It's so joyous to arrive at the end of the project and see it all complete. Circular Key is undergoing a transformation at the moment, so to be part of that is pretty exciting. I think the whole project team saw this as a once in a lifetime opportunity to be working on a building in this place um, and to see it in real life is amazing.